Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle, and I upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the things that I picked up from the Zara haul. I got some pieces from the sales section, and then some of their, like, basic, and I'm so happy with what I got. There's a lot that I can mix and match, so without any more rambling, let's jump into the video. I will be trying everything on for you as well. If you do happen to enjoy this and you want to see more, like, try-on hauls and stuff like that, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so can be notified every time I upload. All right, let's get into the video. So this is the ginormal box right here. So the first piece is actually wasn't, I don't know if it was from the sale, but I got another pair of my favorite Zara leather pants. They're like all the rage last year. So I picked up some that were super similar in brown. The color of this brown is just so rich and just, absolutely stunning and i'm really happy about these ones that i picked up because compared to the leather pants like this that i got last year the waistband on this one is nice and stretchy <laughs> and what i love most about these leather pants is that they come with actual belt loops and pockets and a button so it doesn't look just like leather leggings i also love the line detailing down the center i find that it's actually super slimming on my sausage looking legs and these also come with the little zipper on the end either leave open or shut brown has been so in this season and i've been loving it so i cannot wait to style this a million different ways i can't wait to dress it up and down but yeah if there's anything from this video that you pick up definitely get these i just i love them absolutely love them like the perfect way of just like amping up any outfit even if you're just wearing like a basic bodysuit or basic sweater you throw on those like really flattering leather pants and it just oh, takes it to another level okay and then next up these were from the sales section but i got these two basic bodysuits and they're a nice ribbed material here i believe this is from their contour collection and i just love the ribbed detailing on them they're super stretchy and the reason i picked them up is because over the summer i got really similar bodysuits to this kind but they were just like the tank tops so i figured it'd be nice to have like a nice basic black top but i just think that this is just a great basic to style like underneath of blazers coats jackets things like that like you can't go wrong with like flattering basic bodysuits. Now the one that I picked up over the summer was this exact color, just a tank top version. So I'm excited to be able to use these, throw these on with jeans. I could even throw them on with like the fancier leather pants if I want to dress them up. And they're just really good basics to have. They're super flattering, super comfortable. So this is how the basic bodysuit looks like on. And I will say it does come down to a pretty deep Plunge. I normally don't like that because for one, I don't have anything to fill this out. But if you have a little bit more something to fill this out, I feel like it'll look good. On me, I feel like it's like those wrestling straps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like those little like, that's what I feel like. And then this is the leggings. I am so obsessed with them. This could definitely be a vibe. But then I also think the mauve color I got would look really pretty with these pants as well. So I'll show you guys how that looks as well. Oh, another thing I would suggest is I got my bodysuit in an extra small small and I feel like it is a little bit tight. So if you're like similar to my size, I would size up one, get maybe like a small medium and then that way it won't like it won't rise up as much on the sides and it'll just feel a little more comfortable. This one definitely works, but I just would have rather had a more like looser fit, not super tight bodysuit. I also think that the brown leather pants pair really nice with the mauve bodysuit and it's funny because the mauve bodysuit is the same exact kind of bodysuit except that I find this one way more comfortable so with the brown leather pants and I just have them paired with these brown booties from Vince Camuto. This is the look. I feel like what would really make this look everything is if I had like a brown blazer that matched the tone of these pants. I told you guys I was obsessed with brown, so I picked up these stunning brown trousers. They're more of like a rich chocolate, like warm brown, and they flare out at the end. Again, they have that flattering little like detailing line down the center, which I don't know why, it just like does something for my short legs. 
They're nice and stretchy as well. And what I love about these pants is that the material on them feels super, super high quality, thick, good quality. And I'm really excited to dress these pants up or down. I got this so that I could wear it with a top that I'm gonna show you guys in a second. The top ended up not matching it exact, but it's fine. I figured with these pants, I could dress them up with like really pretty pointed toe nude heels, or I could dress it down with like my Superga, something like this with them, but still look super put together. So getting clothing items like that, that look like you're trying, but really it's like you're in pajama pants. I also got this really pretty brown basic high knit top. The material on this is beautiful. It does come down pretty far here. And I purchased this shirt to style with the pants. However, they're two different tones of brown. I'm trying to see if I can pull it off and just do a kind of like monochromatic look that's like a little bit off of each other. Maybe just throw on like an oversized cream coat and see if that'll look good. But if not, it's fine. This shirt is still such a beautiful basic to have. The material is really nice. It'll be really beautiful to style underneath of like jackets, jean jackets, blazers. And again, the quality on this top feels so nice. All right, so next up we have that basic brown top I was talking about with the brown wide leg trousers. I am obsessed with these pants. The quality of them is amazing. And then I also love the length that it comes down to. I'm only 5'3", so a lot of times the wide leg pants come down a little bit too far. But this hits me at like the perfect height so i don't have to get them hemmed or anything and i was mentioning how these are two different tones of brown i definitely think that i could still get away with wearing it together it would just be like a monochromatic versus like a matching set type of moment and right now i have them paired with these gorgeous nude heels but i also want to show you guys how i could dress this outfit down with like a pair of cute white sneakers and like maybe even a oversized jean jacket and then this is how the top looks up close. I love the detailing right here. I find this top to be super flattering because it's loose but still like cinched in in the right areas. And I also think that this top would look so pretty with just like a pair of jeans and sneakers or jeans and um, hello. I love this. This is definitely a vibe also great about trousers like this is that they're super structured but flowy so if you are back in the office you could totally wear these and then you'd feel like you're in pajamas but really you just look so like chic and dressed up you can dress the outfit down i just paired them with my all white supergas these are my platform supergas so what's great about getting platform sneakers is that you can wear them with longer trousers and then like it doesn't look funny or off but I absolutely love this outfit. I paired it with like a white bag to match the shoes and then threw on an oversized jean jacket to stay warm since we are still in the cold months of the year. But you guys, this outfit is definitely a vibe. Like, I think I kind of prefer to wear it this way and this will most likely be the way that I wear the outfit versus like the dressed up way. You could definitely still wear this in like the spring summer time and like i mentioned before what's great about an outfit like this is that you look super put together but you are just absolutely so comfortable also from the sale section i picked up this stunning it's like a wine colored satin top I'm obsessed with the neckline on this and how it just kind of like drapes like that. This top just looks so elegant. And what's beautiful about this is that I'll be able to really dress it up with like black pants or I could even pair it with like the brown and have that be a moment. But I also think that this would look really pretty and kind of like different style down with like a pair of oversized jeans. And again, the quality of this feels really nice and like thick. So can't wait to be wearing this. This is gonna look so good. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love satin. I also picked up this gorgeous satin spaghetti strap tank in this really pretty like turquoise blue color. When I saw the color, I knew I had to have it. Like I just feel like up against my skin tone, it'll look so good. It's definitely too cold out to be wearing it right now, but I figured if I layered this underneath of like a jacket or something or a cardigan with a coat over top, I could definitely pull this off. The only thing is, is that I noticed that the straps are ridiculously like long on this. So I don't know if it's just supposed to come down to like a super low neckline, but that's not flattering on me whatsoever because I don't have anything to fill it out. So I'm thinking what I'll do is like bring them in or what's good about having these oversized straps is that I can like 
do one of these moments and then like change the look of the top by having like a nice asymmetrical moment. Then this wasn't on sale, but I had to talk about these. I've already worn them a couple of times. I got these stunning light wash jeans from Zara. And you guys, I'm normally so picky with my denim, how it fits and just like the kind of denim that I wear. But when I saw these, I knew that they would look flattering on and I was so right. They have a nice like flared out bottom too and it's a nice distressed bottom. However, I did have to end up trimming mine so I just like re-distressed it afterwards because it was a little bit too long for me. The tone of this denim is just so stunning so I can't wait to pair it with like a lot of these different tops and stuff that I got. I think this would look really cute with the blue top too or any of the other like basic bodysuits that I got. This is my first time trying on this top and i am so obsessed you guys holy moly if they still have this in stock get it this is so stunning this is so flattering too without being like constricting i'm obsessed with the neckline here and how it kind of like comes down and drapes across like this i also just love the fit of it again it's a looser fitting top but still tapered in all of the right areas so that it's still super flattering i also love the croppedness of it because it meets like my high-waisted jeans and pants perfectly so right now i have it paired with the jeans that i was talking about and my nude heels so you could definitely dress this up with heels or i could also wear it with the supergas but you guys i i'm obsessed also these jeans i've already worn them a couple of times i actually wore them out to dinner so this is how the jeans look on i love how they're like fitted up top and then kind of flare out the bottom they're very flattering too because they're loose in the right areas but then tight where they need to be and then i feel like jeans like this just look so good with like boots or heels so this is the outfit you guys i love this i love this too much so all right so this is how the satin top looks like on as you can see the straps are so big like i don't like anything this deep of a cup again because i don't have anything to fill it out if you do have something to fill it out then this will be perfect but most likely what i'll do is kind of like maybe bring these together and lift it or if there's a way that i can like cinch this part up a little bit more and then just bring that kind of like cross drape a little bit higher i think that would look really pretty But I also love wearing satin tanks like this with leather pants. So I'll show you guys that in a second. I think I love mixing like the textures and materials. Um, and I think that would look really cute. All right, and then this is the same top with leather pants. I just think it's such a vibe mixing like different textures together. And I just love the combination. And then I just have it paired with my Love Raid boots. I'm obsessed with these. They are so comfy and I love the square toe bottom. Off topic, but super cute definitely recommend so next up also from the sales section i got this really nice chunky knit cardigan the color of this when i saw it i knew i had to have it i've been super into like that sage kind of like sea foamy green i love the thickness of it it feels like really soft it doesn't feel like that scratchy cable knit material what i love most about this is that it has a little like belt type of thing attached so you can like cinch it in there and then have a nice like slouchy off the shoulder moment also figured this color would pair really nice with the blue kind of satin tank that i got with even like a pair of jeans like but i have so many cardigans but i don't have any in like this like fun color but that's still like neutral it's like a pop of color that i could still wear with a bunch of stuff so i knew i had to have all right so this is the cardigan that i was just talking about I'm obsessed with this tie detailing here and how you can just kind of like cinch it in a little bit and maybe have like a little draped off the soldier. I love the material of it. It's just, this is perfect. And what I also love about this cardigan is the color of it is perfect for, but you want to stay warm, but you still want to be like very springy and just like fresh and airy. This is definitely the vibe and the outfit for you. I'm also obsessed with the sleeves on them and how they kind of come in on the bottom. So I will definitely be wearing this. Also from this sale, I picked up a nice fun little pop. Really pretty balloon sleeve sheer top. I love the tie front here. I have another top that's a super similar shape to this one. And I love that one, it's super flattering on me. So when I saw the shape of this, I knew I had to have it. I like this too, cause I could wear it with a ton of different pieces. I could style it up, I could style it down. I could wear it with the jeans that I just showed you or I can wear them with like the brown leather pants. So I just love like flattering blouses like this that I feel like I can get a lot of use out of dress them up or down. And this is how that printed top looks on. I think it is just so 
flattering. I love blouses like this that, I don't know, I don't even have to think about it. I could just throw them on with a pair of basic jeans and heels and I just feel like so pretty and put together and really it's just like a really flattering blouse that made the whole outfit. I could also pair this top with like these same jeans and my Supergas. I think that would look really pretty. This top I think would also work really well with the brown leather pants that I'll show you guys earlier in the video. I'll show you guys how those look together but it's just so flattering. I love how it cinches in right here enough to bring the waist in, but then you have like the nice puffy sleeves. And then the neckline is pretty deep, but I could always just cinch it in a little bit more and I still think that it wouldn't take away from the top. So pretty. And then this is the print up close. Love it. I'm obsessed. So this is the top with the brown leather pants. Oh, this looks so good. This is perfect for like a dinner date, a night out, whenever those are like a thing again. But this is just such a cute, flattering little outfit. And I love it paired with the leather pants because since these are so tight and form-fitting, the flowiness of the top really balances out nice. And like the chiffon texture of the top mixed with the leather just looks so pretty. So that's something to keep in mind too with outfits, like just like layering different styles and textures and just like softer pieces with more bolder pieces. I love this, this is so stunning. And I don't believe I got this one on sale either, but I saw the top and just figured I needed a good like basic turtleneck. I also was obsessed with like the stone kind of color on it because it was like a nice beige, but it wasn't a yellow beige. It's more of like a neutral beige. So I just feel like basic tops like this are really nice to layer underneath of blazers, coats, all of that in the winter time. I could wear them with those brown leather pants. That would be such a moment with some like nice accessories too. It's just like a good, basic staple to you and I also love the marled kind of like detail. Also I can't remember if I got these from the sale section or not but I got these like high-waisted leggings. I'm not gonna lie I thought on the website it said it was leather so I thought it was gonna be really close to the brown leather leggings that I showed you guys earlier in the video. However it doesn't really look leather and it was kind of disappointing. I really love the color of this it does still have the nice zipper bottom that I like, and it does still have that nice line going through the center, which I don't know why, but that just does something for my legs. Like it like elongates it. But yeah, I'm not mad at these. I could definitely style these up or down, and I guess I could get away with more out of them since they are not leather. However, I did notice that there was already a tear in the seam. We'll see, but what is great about this one is that they're a little bit stretchier than the leather leggings that I normally get from Zara. And I like that it still has a little belt loop so I can belt them in, has a zipper so I can wear them like regular pants and not like leggings. So we'll style them, we'll see how we can make it work with the pieces. Okay, and then these are those beige leggings with that basic marl topi top that I was talking about. This is the top up close and I love it. It's super warm. It's a very soft like cozy material so I think that this will just be a great layering piece. <laughs> so I really think that this will just be such a great layering piece underneath of like chunky sweaters or just like coats. And then these are the beige pants. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that they are the most flattering on me. I don't know, I'll have to play around with them a little bit. I love the tone of it. I just, again, I thought they were more of a leather material and they're just like a different, I can't even like describe the material. I do love the way these pants like paired with this top, like a good monochromatic type of moment. Throw on like a cute white bag over top. This is kind of a moment, guys. Yeah, okay, I think I do like them. I think I more so wanted pants like this to pair with like my more neutral coats and sweaters and stuff where like they're already kind of like taking over the whole look and I just needed this much of my leg <laughs> to have that undertone. So I'm really not mad at this. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I should keep the pants or not. All right, you guys, and that wraps it up for the Zara haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing me style some of the pieces. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can notified whenever I upload more videos like this. I have been doing a lot of fashion content. I still do makeup. I do vlogs, all of that. So stay tuned if you want to hang out with me and want to see more hauls and things like this in the future. But yeah, I love you guys. I pray that y'all stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.